Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, at Val53 Tarot. She's a brief view as well. Thank you. Okay, let's see what's going on. Goodness, Taurus. Goodness, Taurus. Right away, you're, <laughs> geez. Um, right away, you're kind of leading with the frustration, and that's okay. Um, it definitely makes sense. I do see that overall you are definitely trying to make peace with something and kind of let something go and put it behind you. Well, for the overall sake of possibly something between you and someone romantically, or there may be some sort of decision here regarding dedication and commitment to a life path or career choice. I don't exactly know quite yet, but whatever this choice or decision is, you're definitely saying um, there's a bit of frustration there to kind of get over just to kind of, in a sense, make peace with something to kind of surrender to the situation or the circumstances. Now I'm hearing someone haul, you know, haul down the street. Drive safely. Mm. Yeah, goodness. Whatever, yeah, whatever this choice or decision is, I do see there is a lot to sit with and contemplate and kind of mull over. Um, I kind of feel like for you, it definitely is just kind of more so gathering your thoughts, gathering your emotions, collecting yourself and trying to kind of figure out what to do. And, and because of all this, I do see that there is some sort of moment of inspiration you are having at the same time. It also feels like great. Um, goodness. Again, like I said, like I said, Taurus, way to start. You're showing me that this new start is like, here we go. It's, it's you're saying that something has started and it's like, here we go. Oh, you're just airing it all out today, Taurus. You are airing it all out today. Yeah, yes, yes, you are. You know, this is what happens. Um, it's kind of like, what's that called? When things get so boiled up or things have been bottled up for so long, you just want to just kind of like pop the cork. Um, yeah, you're you're saying you feel overwhelmed, overburdened, overpressured. And it, I gotta say it, Taurus. You're showing me that this is about some sort of relationship, commitment, or marriage. You're saying it, I'm under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, and whatever this time is that you're going through, whatever this start is, it feels like a huge transition for you. Things are completely different. Things have completely changed. I would say things have turned around. And there you are. I would say things have turned around, but um, you're kind of saying, I actually, I can't turn around now or I can't go back now. I kind of have to get a handle on this thing and kind of try and figure out how to move forward with it the best way I can. Yeah, you're, you're showing up wanting to be just very direct and clear about this. Um, but I feel like the more you are in this analytical assessment mode, you are realizing some things here that do definitely kind of cause you to feel a little bit more confident as to how to kind of move forward with it. I get it. I, I, I get what you're showing me, Taurus. I get what you're showing me, but at the same time, um, whatever this is that is take. let's just say, whatever this is that's giving, geez, whatever this is in your situation that is taking more energy than giving back to you, that is what you're having to be very cautious and, and pretty much um, careful about. And you know, you know what this is, you do. Even though you're showing me, I don't know where things are headed or where things are going, there's a way to know that. Is a situation energetically, thought-wise, or emotionally taking more than it is giving back? That can become a form of unhealthy or toxic or possibly even karmic. You're showing me I have to be real careful about this. And it's like, you are being careful about this, Taurus. Ooh. 
Wow, though. Wow, wow, wow. Are you showing me what I think you're showing me? Again, it's almost as if it's like slow and steady, easy does it. There's an overall energy here of so much emotional energy, so much love to give, um, so much happiness in a sense, so much happiness and fulfillment. I almost feel like there may have been some sort of good news. Excuse me, maybe even news that you were looking forward to hearing or possibly even something before that you're maybe daydreaming about or maybe fantasizing about um, or just kind of like letting your imagination run wild about. Wow. Lots of happiness though there. Okay. Yeah, 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 you're kind of showing me back to work, back to trying to figure out what to do for security. Um, you're, you're definitely looking into it, I feel. I feel like because there is something here that is definitely life-changing for you, as well as bringing in quite a bit of happiness, it's also kind of pointing you in the direction of, okay, what needs to be worked on, what needs to be improved, what needs to kind of be changed or shifted around? Because um, ultimately what you're saying is things definitely now need to change. Things need to change. Goodness. Um, wow, that's kind of well. Yeah. I, I do feel like there is some very honest discussions and conversations to be had. Um, at the same time, it's almost as if it's whatever this honest discussion is about possibly what is no longer working out or what needs to be let go of or what needs to be changed. Um, you, you also are showing me that it starts off very honest and open and vulnerable. The way this conversation ends is with definitely possibly some sort of harsh words being exchanged. But um, I feel like that's possibly what you know it's all about is kind of sorting through those problems or those issues or those difficulties or challenges and just talking them through. Of course, you could be dealing with, let's see, an air sign, a water sign, and that's it. Goodbye.